Hello everybody, and welcome, welcome in. My name is Smivik, and welcome to my short guide on how to download SCP Containment Breach Ultimate Edition. Without further ado, let's get started. First, we're going to search for SCP Containment Breach Ultimate Edition. Next, find the website moddb.com with the title of scp Containment Breach Ultimate Edition Mod DB. Click on the site and navigate to the Files tab near the top. From here, we're going to select SCP Containment Breach Ultimate Edition version 5.5.4.1 installer. You'll notice that the right file of the upload date is December the 26th, 2019. Click on the file name and scroll down to download now. A white box will pop up. Click on download scpcb-ue-setup.exe to start the download. Once downloaded, double click on scpcb-ue-setup to start the installation. Click on install for me only. From here you can select your language. I will be picking English. Click OK once you pick your language. Click the circle next to I accept the agreement. Click next. Click next again. Choose your file path. I will keep it as the default. Click next. Click next again. Create a desktop shortcut and click next again. Finally, if you're happy with everything, click install and wait for it to complete. Once the install is complete, click next and click finish. If you get an error message after clicking finish, simply close the program and launch the game from the desktop shortcut we created. At the time of recording, I did have an error, so I had to do it this way. If your game crash after clicking finish, double click on the shortcut made on the desktop. A window will pop up asking if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. Click yes. This simply means the program is running in admin mode and will be able to use more resources to stop the game from crashing. This is a common issue for SCP Contain Breach and clicking yes fixes this. Finally, the launcher window will pop up. SCP will not work if you set the resolution beyond 1920 by 1080. If you set this resolution but are still encountering errors, you'll need to change your display resolution to match 1920 by 1080. Next, at the bottom left, we're gonna select our graphics card. You can see I have a GTX 1070. I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna select borderless window mode. Again, this stops any issues. And with that, we're ready to go. Click launch and the game will begin to launch. Once the game has launched, press any key a few times to skip the intro sequence. And there you go, you're ready to play. If this guide has helped you, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if this worked for you or if you're having any issues. And please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free and we're working on 1,000 subscribers. I also stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash smithic. If you want to ask me any questions live, then head on over there. Take care guys and as always, try not to get your neck snapped.